One of the big pieces of feedback we get with WWE 2K22 is how to fix crashing. So today, my hope is to help you avoid some of these crashes in 2K22. So step one for this is going to be checking the game for updates. This will be the exact same method whether you're going to be on PlayStation or you're on Xbox. What you need to do first is you need to select the game itself. So if you are going to be from your home screen or just here in Xbox, just for the quick selection menu, select manage game and add-ons. We have everything up to date right now. There's nothing for us to do here, but if you are going to select the options, again, PlayStation or Xbox, look at the options and see if there are any updates available. The system will do a quick little refresh to see if there is anything there. You need to check this because for a lot of people, they may say, I have not seen any of the patch updates. I don't know if I have the latest patch. And in some cases, it doesn't auto download for you. So make sure that you are going in and you are downloading the latest patches that are available if there are any add-ons there. Second tip, reinstall the game. What I found after the latest patch was that some things were kind of glitchy. Some things were not that stable or as stable as I wanted them to be. What I ended up doing was I reinstalled the entire game. Pain in the butt, yes. If you don't have great internet connection or you have a cap on your internet, I mean, you may not want to do this because as you can see here, right up there, we're looking at almost 60 gigs for the entire game with all of the add-ons and updates. So it is a substantial size game. But if you do want to do this, what I found is that it did help my experience with getting a smoother experience and I wasn't running into as many crashes. Simply click uninstall the game. If you are going to uninstall this whole thing, go ahead then the whole thing will be boom, it'll be gone. This will not delete your save. Your save is updated automatically with the server and through the cloud on Xbox or PlayStation. You're going to be OK, because as you can see down here again, I'm on Xbox, but you're going to be able to see that I have my reserve space and I have my entire profile set up there with my save data. So if you're concerned about losing the save data, you're not. You're going to delete the entire core game itself, the add ons, all of it. But what you will want to do then after is reinstall the base game and then install all of the updates. The season pass and the DLCs, every single DLC available to you. The next one is specifically for anybody that is on Xbox with quick resume enabled. Quick resume is a great feature on Xbox. It allows us to go and close the game off and be able to go over and play another game and then jump back in here and it's all supposed to be buttery smooth. Well, I got news for you. It is not buttery smooth and half the time it doesn't work. And if you have a game that has online servers and that is typically going to be an online experience, eh, a lot of the times it can crash and mess up the game. And what I find is with 2K22, it does this a lot. Let's just say I had shut everything down for the day I came back, but I, I left everything open. If you left the game just running in the background and you quick resumed it, you will be able to come back into the game and sometimes right into the middle of your match, but it might crash on you. And more often than not, it does crash on you if it's been sitting there. So it is like, guys, it's old school. Quit the game. This is to avoid any issues when it comes to quick resume. Now, as you can see behind me right here, I have the Series S. That's what I'm playing on here. And that's what I use to capture my footage. I have the Xbox Series X in the other room, and I use that as my primary gaming machine. But it messes up when I play on either console. If I'm going to go from one to the other, it often needs me to completely reset, shut down the game and start over again. So if I left this right here running as it is, and then I went to play on my Series X, it's not going to let me jump in. I'd It would say that it's can't find the updates. It's trying to connect to the cloud. It's having issues. I have to shut everything down. So we've talked about the basics of trying to avoid some crashing, <laughs> some of the pure basics here. Now let's get into the full game modes and what you need to do to avoid some other big time crashes. The next thing we're going to talk about is your custom money in the bank briefcases and how they can impact your universe mode. Let me explain. Now, I love community creations. I love downloading all the latest superstars, the attires, the money in the banks, the arenas, the shows, you name it. You get in there and you find 10 different things you love. Well, when it comes to money in the bank and the custom money in the bank briefcases, when you're downloading these, they can really kind of mess up your entire universe mode. And by that, I mean, it crashes. It crashes it, it crashes it hard, big time, does not like it, does not like it one bit, nah, nah. So for argument's sake here, I have downloaded a custom money in the bank briefcase. And you know what? I'll download a women's money in the bank briefcase as well. Now let's edit our shows in our existing universe. This may happen, this may not happen. But in my experience, when I am trying to edit the championships and add Add a custom money in the bank briefcase crashes the game. Let's see. Change this money in the bank. See, that was a standard money in the bank briefcase. I didn't do anything. 
I clicked on the existing money in the bank and it crashed the whole game. So this is either directly tied to the custom money in the bank briefcases being downloaded and crashing your universe when you try to get rid of it, or it is just that slot in universe mode with the money in the bank. That can mess it up too. So let's try this again. Let's go into edit our championships. Let's delete this slot. Now I don't have any money in the bank. Now let's add a money in the bank. Crashed it again. In my experience, custom championships do not crash universe mode for me. I often use custom championships throughout universe mode and I have not really had any issues with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these money in the bank briefcases. Now they're gone. We'll check out our universe and let's see if we can add a money in the bank briefcase. See it crashed before I could save or do anything. So it's back, but I'm going to delete it and let's just try and start from scratch again. See? Now I can get through to the menu. I can add the existing money in the bank. This is terrible because you want to be able to add in the money in the bank briefcase, your custom ones throughout the mode. Now, can we go in and attach somebody? Yes, we can. If I go in here and I want to target, let's say the WWE championship, let's give it to AJ Styles. He's in a rivalry. That's cool. Save it. Done. So that worked again here. I deleted the other money in the bank, which is the women's slot. Number six is going to be for your money in the bank and I can add this in no problem. So this is the one big problem I have with universe mode. I mean, there are others in terms of crashing. This is what's going to do it to you more often than not is a custom money in the bank briefcase you have downloaded is going to crash the mode and you cannot edit it. But as you can see here, I have one two custom titles on SmackDown and on Raw, I'm using one uh, two custom titles as well. The Intercontinental title is actually a women's Intercontinental title and the WWE Championship is custom. Otherwise, my universe mode runs fine for me. For some of you, you might be saying I cannot load anything going through and trying to have a match. I can't even go through a loading screen, but you can see I have Cora Jade here and the game hasn't crashed. I have Cody Rhodes. I have another Mandy Rose as a separate full superstar and it works. So I'm not experiencing the same level of crashing that a lot of people end up reporting on. Now, for example, I have Becky Lynch and we'll change Becky Lynch to 2018 attire that I have saved on here. And she was scheduled for SummerSlam. So it changed, the render changed and didn't have an issue. Before in the last patch, for the most recent one, this was usually a sticking point, especially when the game launched. You could not put in like ever a custom superstar or an alternate render for a superstar because I would hit start the show and it would just crash. Okay, now let's go into the big one, the leashing utility. For some of you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This may not be for you, but I'm glad you stopped by. So for some people, all they do is they end up going into edit the custom superstar that they have. They select it and then delete. Opens up the slot again feel like you're good to go, but still running into some crashing issues. I'm going to walk you through this menu. So within extras, we have deletion utility. You can see here all of the current downloads that I have for custom superstars and pay attention to the tabs at the top because you have custom superstars, the stitch, custom championships, and on and on it goes for your my GM, your universe modes you have set up. Everything is in here. So all of my creations are here. If you want to delete somebody, just highlight them and we can get rid of them. Now I'm gonna download a more updated Lacey Evans because I want her money in the bank attire. So I'm gonna delete this for real to show you and say yes. Now this menu pops up here and it says delete the selected content only. Images used in this content won't be deleted. You wanna delete everything. I'm done with Lacey Evans and I don't want any of the images, the logos, any of it sitting in my inventory because this takes up too much space and can lead to more crashing. Delete both. You wanna be able to select multiple alternate attires, custom superstars you have. You can select all of them and get rid of them in a batch. Takes a little bit longer, but you'll be okay. Don't worry about it spinning and loading. You'll be fine. Now you may have noticed that these superstars I have listed, they're grayed out. Cody Rhodes, Cora Jade, Gunther, Mandy Rose, they're grayed out. So why can't I delete them? This superstar is affiliated with one of the shows that's in universe mode. Cody is used in my universe. They can't be removed. If you want to remove them, you have to get rid of Cody out of that universe. Then you can delete him. The other thing that can affect them too is my GM mode. In my GM mode, you have the options to set up custom draft pools. You can go and select all the individual superstars you want to use in a draft pool, save it, and you will always have that saved draft pool for future GM modes you want to set up. 
If you do that and you have custom superstars alternate attires like we have here, if Cody Rhodes is in one of my custom draft pools I have saved, you will not be able to delete him from here. You would have to go in and delete the MyGM mode custom draft pool and presumably in universe mode too, if you have him in there, get rid of all of that, then you can delete the superstar. So if you've ever run into that problem, this is why. It's the same thing when it comes to championships. These ones are grayed out because I'm currently using them in universe mode. So again, all these tabs at the top here, it's showing you every little subcategory you have of the game, including custom arenas. So if you need to delete a custom arena, go right ahead. So in this case, I'll delete dynamite to show you. So we're gonna delete AEW Dynamite and I wanna delete all the images used in it. If some images are not used in other content, they won't be deleted. Delete all of this. Again, if you delete just the arena in the arena section, not deleting all the logos. I'm trying to get rid of all those extra logos in here and images so that it frees up my space. You got custom videos if you wanna delete those. Your highlight reels will be in here as well if you need to delete them. You have custom images, we'll come back to that in just a second your group images, your My Rise superstars, your universe mode is here if you wanna manually delete it from here, and your My GM modes as well. Now, let's go back over to the custom images. Oh boy, look at this thing. I'm not using everything, right? I have a lot. This is a terrible piece that has been laid out by 2K because it just pulls everything from custom images used for every single superstar, all of the arenas, it's all in here in one master list and it's disjointed and disorganized. The one thing I hope they update or they give us in 2K23 is another tab at the top for rendered images so that I can organize and just bucket rendered images separately because as I'm scrolling right now, I'm looking for renders. Because if I deleted those superstars, like we deleted earlier, I want to go in and I want to delete their custom rendered image because I'm not using them anymore. So now I have to go through this list and you can see all the different ones I have downloaded here. I got a beard in here. It looks like CM Punk's beard. So there's the Lacey Evans. I'm going to delete that one image just to show you. This is taking up room on your system. This can contribute to crashing. It's not going to solve everything, but if you have a ton of stuff downloaded that you're not utilizing, this is a big reason why. The last thing to show you right in here is going to be the very bottom, the Y button there that says delete all unused images. You select that and look, you're about to delete 278 images. Are you sure you want to proceed and delete them? This is deleting any excess we don't need anymore. From arenas and shows to superstars, it gets rid of all of the extra stuff you're not using. When you do this, it tends to remove the rendered images from all of your custom superstars. So be careful. If you do this, it doesn't delete the renders, but it will remove them. So then you have to go back in and reapply them. That is the most common thing that I see. So if you wanna do this and you're like, I need to do one big massive batch delete, go ahead, your renders will be saved but you're gonna probably have to reapply them later on. Now some final general tips to help you if you are experiencing crashing and how to do more of the cleanup. If for example, I have Becky Lynch and I'm using the alternate attire Becky Lynch, let's say I wanted to delete her in the deletion utility. It won't let me because she's used in my universe mode with the alternate attire. You have to go in here and you need to change this to default the original attire, save it, save everything, now you'll be able to delete that alternate attired version. So even if you remove her from Raw in this case, and she's not affiliated with any show, you, it doesn't matter. You still need to change her attire back to the original. Then you're allowed to do the delete. And when I mentioned draft pools too, when you need to delete a draft pool because the superstar, custom superstar is associated with it, this is what I mean. In here, you have draft pool in my GM mode. You can do a default one or a custom draft pool. This is where you create one, but any of your save draft pools will be right here. And at the bottom, it will give you the option to select, go back or delete it. So you would need to delete that draft pool in order to free up, unlock say Cody Rhodes, and then you can delete him. And a final tip for you, if you are experiencing crashing, freezing, things like that on consoles, minimize how much stuff you've downloaded. It seems silly and we shouldn't have to do this at all. The game should work. We should be able to max out everything. We need more slots in here too for custom creations. There's a lot more that we need available. It should not happen. However, because of the limitations of the game and you're experiencing a lot of crashing and you're frustrated, delete what you don't use. But if you are not using Goldberg and Adam Cole and Austin Theory and these versions of these stars you have downloaded and they're sitting there, do yourself a favor and delete them because it will typically help with the game's performance overall. Now, the last thing I need you to do is click right here because I have a video on five easy custom matches that you can create in WWE 2K22. 
See ya.